Dang, that's a beautiful engine. Thanks to Holly and Summit and everybody for helping us get it ready. Um, here's some video of the dyno. This thing at the wheels made 640 horsepower and 580 foot-pounds of torque, which is insane. That's more than any burnout car we've ever had make on the dyno. Thanks to this awesome Texas Speed engine with this Pro Charger, some parts from Summit and Holly. This company has really came together to help us get this thing done last minute. So speaking of last minute, uh, this Saturday, I was meeting the transport truck to ship it. And uh, <laughs> we're driving it down our little road to the 18-wheeler, and it's making a terrible noise from one of the front wheels. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but we're just gonna send it. And then all of a sudden, it goes boom, and shoots out oil from right here. The hydraulic oil went and shot it all over the ground. Drops her down. Lost the hydraulic line there. Which I instantly was like, man, well now we can't, we can't ship this thing with no hydraulic lines because you won't be able to get off your 18-wheeler. So then I like drive it back and it's like dragging a front end because it's all dropped down here. And then I open it up and there's oil everywhere. So I was like, well, this car is not ready to go. And uh, the shipper said he can take it tomorrow if I can have everything fixed, but I can't get the parts needed to fix this thing by tomorrow. LS Fest is this weekend. And so what is there to do? King is returned. El Chromine. Hold on, there's some cobwebs here. Um, sorry, King. The King is returned. El Chromino, my 1977 Chevrolet El Camino with a big old turbocharger on a junkyard LS engine with some Texas speed heads. She's ready to go, probably. We, I, I mean, I don't actually know. We haven't started in a while, but let's, let's see if she starts. Yep, she has a battery, so that's that's a good sign. Oh shoot, we left the battery on. It's probably dead. Cool, 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 cool. Careful with the Camaro. Ugh. Holy cow. Ship light's bright. We got power. This car's never let me down. It probably has. Come on. We haven't started in two months. to do that. We actually kept El Cromino for just this reason, as a backup car in case something goes wrong with one of our other cars, we can still make it to an event. So I need to do a few things to get this thing ready, but she's pretty much good to go. I need to just change oil, make sure that battery's charged up. And then we will ship this thing out of here and we will make it to LS Fest West in Las Vegas, Nevada this weekend. Here's the deal. If I hit this oil pan down here without spilling one drop on the floor, that means we're going to win. About a five foot gap. Oh, man, this is impossible. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'll drop it down, but I got to keep the floor completely clean. Oh, yeah. Ew, that's some gross looking oil. Oh, it dripped. Okay, it's going to go terribly just like this whole week is gone. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, man, we got some brown oil. That's pretty gross. That's not good. Looks like me after taco night. It really does look like you after taco night. Yeah. I've seen it. It got everywhere. Yeah, sorry about that, too. <laughs> hey, editor, can you put a filter on this to make it look like normal, um, not puke green baby diarrhea brown? Just make it look like black oil. Just filter it real quick. Can you do that? Why is it green? It looks like it's coming up from the ground. <laughs> hey guys, what would make your oil baby poop brown green? Is that good or no? Does that mean it's, I mean, I mean we're good? 
I think we're probably fine. This is why we change oil. We don't have to fix the actual problem. We just keep changing the oil. <laughs> you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh, hey. Oh, you going? Hey. Uh, just giving a little bit of lifeblood, uh, which it's going to need because probably have a blown head gasket with the amount of uh, brown stuff. Once we actually pulled the oil pan out from under the car, too, you could really see how brown that oil is. Not great. It's, it's not great, but I think we'll be fine. We're just going to freaking send it. We don't have time to mess around and pull these heads off, so we're going to Vegas no matter what. This might be El Cromino's last run with this motor we fill her up with water and run her full tilt for a whole burnout. <laughs> cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for LS Fest West. Okay, this thing's done. Why did we even work on that stupid low rider? We could have just done the tried and true solid machine that this thing is. I mean, it's just Chevy, like a rock. There's a few uh, little dents and scratches on the car, so we're gonna do some minor, you know, some body work just to make sure that she's top notch, 100% perfect by the time we go. Sharpie makes really cool chrome paint to match markers just for this car. Yeah, good as new. Erased. Can't even tell. Like it never happened. Can't even tell there was rust. I'm just sad. Like, we've been working hard on this thing and it's so beautiful. The engine is perfect. Like, tip top. Made the craziest horsepower I've ever made. I'm not mad we can't run it. I'm just disappointed. I mean, I'm, I'm like a little mad. Like, I'm, I'm not, it's not like I'm not mad. I'm a little mad. I'm, I'm pretty mad. I'm, I'm upset, I would say. I'm freaking mad. I'm just so angry. There's so much anger in me. I'm just mad. Mikey, there's a scratch on the back of it. What'd you do? It's actually a hole. Um, I had a Ninja Star and it slipped. Sharpie's not gonna work on this one though. <laughs> Went to the gas station, we got us some E85. And we are filling her up now, so we'll have a topped off tank. Cromino, heading to Las Vegas. It is here! First things first though. Perfect. We have some packages which are almost the size of the whole Bronco. These are actually from Addictive Desert Designs and Baja Designs. So Baja Designs makes the best lights in the game. Addictive Desert Designs makes some really cool aftermarket parts which are gonna spruce up this Bronco. Not only looks, but also function. We're gonna make form and function better with some of the Addictive Desert Designs stuff. Uh, we're getting a new bumper, which I've already, I did something here. Listen, I do this thing called Raptor stuff. When my kids are in the car, I'm like, y'all wanna do Raptor stuff? And they're like, yeah, we just find something. Like we'll go, you know, we'll go off road and we'll do some bumps and whoops. Or this one actually, I found a rock that was like this tall. And I was like, you wanna do Raptor stuff? And it was like flat. I just press up against it and put it in low first gear, four wheel drive. It just climbed it. But somewhere on the way down, I tweaked some things. So like all this stuff's kind of hanging it's supposed to be, oh, <laughs> that part's fixed. I don't know how to fix this, but I haven't messed with it because I knew I was taking that bumper off anyway. So we have front and rear bumpers. We have a new skid plate up front. We also have room for lights and a winch. So giddy up, we're gonna start taking this thing apart so that I can, actually we should open these boxes first and figure out what we have. Rubber bumper. <laughs> <laughs> rubber bumper. <laughs> they just spray foamed in here. Brackets inside. Well, that's good. 
You know which ones to not just throw away. Where's my bumper? Holy cow. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <clears throat> what if we light the box on fire? This stuff will all melt away. Perfect. Bumper will come to us. Bumper will come to us. The bumper will come right to us. If you light it on fire, they will come. <sighs> it's like sword in the stone, but it's bumper in the box. Dude, there's things in this thing too. It's a bumper. Sweet. That's the back. Back bumper. I assume this is front bumper. It better not be full of foam. Look at it. It is, but not much. Dang, that front bumper is way bigger than the back bumper. time but I'm gonna disconnect the battery first but I, I've never actually looked under this positive plate here and I, I didn't know what this was it has a bunch of little terminals you can hook stuff to they kind of thought of everything not everything of course that sounds stupid there's a bunch of things like this and like this that say accessory ready there's those things all over this thing because they know people are gonna get these and customize them which is cool and that's exactly what this is that is accessory ready so you can Customize it. So disconnect this. We will start tearing up the rear. I'm gonna do rear bumper first because I feel like it's gonna be less challenging and less exciting. So we'll do that one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you wanna put that dish in your mouth. the wiring done on this thing and it actually is kind of cool it uses all the stuff from there so all the wiring comes out of that including the uh, parking sensors like the backup where you back up and it beep beep beeps that and the license plate light comes over so all of that is done now uh, it has these provisions you can see this big hole right here it has provisions for lights and so I have two brand new lights these are from Baja designs this is the squadron pro it's the driving combo so you can see two lenses up top are clear and the ones down on the bottom have diffusers so it kind of gives you um, just a really good bright light and so these are not like reverse lights when I hit it in reverse they won't turn on uh, still have reverse lights up there but I can use it when I hit reverse, but it's gonna be a switched light. So I'll have a switch in there. Um, the Bronco Raptors come with standard switches already, although I also have some Baja Design switches that I may use instead. But we have two bright lights. These are 4,000 lumens each, and there's two of them going in this bumper. So there will be, it's actually over 4,000 lumens. So there'll be over 8,000 lumens of white light going backwards in case I am needing, even if I'm just parked and just want light, out the back. I can crank it and it goes poof, poof. It's gonna be great. And three screws each and they're in. Okay, let's put a bumper on. There she is. Uh, I haven't plugged in the wires. That's the wire for the light hanging down. So it's still wires hanging down. I just got it all bolted in. It's done. Brand new Addictive Desert Designs bumper. Um, and so these fender flares are giant and they kind of have these mud flaps. And so you can actually take the mud flaps off. They screw off or you can just trim them because the other bumper came all the way down to there. You can see how big and fat it is, the old bumper. And so you can either leave them like that, which I don't think anyone besides me would ever notice, but I think I'm gonna actually just either trim the mud flaps here or take them off completely so it kind of flows better. But you get a better departure angle here with the new bumper, especially like coming off a big rock right there. Sweet, those lights are awesome. I'm really pumped about having really bright lights in the back. Back bumper is all mechanically done. Electrically, I need to do some stuff. I need to figure out, I actually don't know how to wire those lights up to those switches. I need to investigate that. They have another thing I need to do here for the license plate. It's gonna cover up my Raptor logo, but it's okay. It's all right, I just put a license plate up there. And this light 
shines straight on it. Good to go. But first, I think we need to tackle front bumper. I got a guy coming over to help me with that. 7.30 in the morning, the next day. Let me show you our morning routine here at the HQ. First, get a little deer corn. You walk it outside because there's always people waiting for breakfast. What's up, dog? Come on. There you go. This is our buddy Quattro. We named him that because last year he had a four point. He's become very friendly. I'm gonna get him to eat out of my hand. Come on, bud, it's okay. Is that good corn? And he's here every morning. And his buddies are off in the woods too. They just, they're not as trusting as Quattro is. Come on, there's good corn over here. See his little uh, antler buds coming up? Hey bud, what do you think? Tell your girlfriend to come over here, it's fine. Oh my gosh, you gonna do it? Come on, you can do it. Good boy. Good job, that was really good. Come on, we got more where that came from, bud. <laughs> this is a wild deer, born out in the wild. He is not a tame deer, but we have slowly gained his trust. I wanna pet him. I just wanna pet you. Oh, your girlfriend thought about coming down here. Tell her it's fine. He takes a mouthful and then he backs up to eat it. He's like, uh, I don't want to stand too close to you. I just want to pet you. Come on. <laughs> I did it. You have been petted. Does not like being petted. I just want to pet his face so bad. Come on, you're so close. Come on, dude. Demolition Ranch Petting Zoo is now open. All right, you earned it. Here you go. I'll get out of the way so your girlfriend can come get some too. Soon enough, I will have him trusting me so much that he'll let me ride him. And I'll just ride him around the ranch and it'll be amazing. But for now, back to work. Are done got the license plate holder light on here and this thing is totally done I plugged everything in except for I haven't wired these lights yet so that's all that's hanging down so you can really see the angle of departure is a little better it already is pretty good I mean these wheels are shoved so far back so your angle of departure is right there but this bumper is yeah about four inches shorter on the corners but man it looks good and you can see the exhaust pipes which you couldn't see before so now you can see the Little dual exhaust tips there. We are done, completely done, besides wiring with the back. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the front, start tearing up everything up here and getting it ready for all that. Front bumper is more complicated than the rear. Uh, that's, that's every, I had to take it all apart. So this is the shell of it, but you had to take everything apart. All this stuff is front original stock bumper stuff um, so that we could get the wire harness out. This is Trey. Hey Trey. Hey there, how's it going? Trey's been in our videos before. Trey does the Raptor runs, uh, which we've done. And now I have a Raptor so we can come back yeah, to Trey. time to come back. <laughs> but he also has a place uh, not too far from here called Comal Truck Gear. Come out truck gear. What do you do, Trey? Uh, we do all sorts of truck accessories. We build a bunch of Raptors and Broncos and Bronco Raptors. So like so. people will get Raptors and they want them to be like better at going through Baja, going through the desert and stuff, and they go to Trey. So uh, I'll link Trey in the description below. If you need any work done, go annoy him and uh, give him a call. We also have a worn uh, winch on here. This is one I actually had. Uh, we were gonna put this on the 83 Bronco. We ended up not ever getting a new bumper that we could use it for. It's too big for this. It's a 12, it's a Xeon 12, but it's just so big and it's heavy. It's got the steel cable. So I think I'm gonna get an 8,000 pound winch with a nylon cable. But for now, 
I don't think I'm gonna even hook it up. Like once I got on there, I was like, it's it's too big. So we might just tie these off somewhere and later I'll get a different winch, but we've got a cool winch on there. He's putting in the light bar right now. It's a 20 inch Baja Designs Onyx 6 Plus. And it's the driving combo light as well. It has uh, almost 25,000 lumens, so should be very bright. We're trying to get all that in, and that's pretty much it. I put all the sensors back in, I put the wire harness in. It's pretty much it, right? That's it. We have the light bolted down, and yep. uh, we can bolt the bumper on. on here. It, it took bump. forever. We had to move a couple sensors up here, but that's done. And then also later, I'll put um, some big pod lights right here. I think we have some ambers coming in um, from Baja Designs as well, but I don't have those yet, so we're about to throw this bumper on here and see how she looks. Is it heavy? No, it's <laughs> oh, don't kill me, please. Yep, right there. That's about the spot. Pull yeah. it back out. Yeah, I agree, it's hitting something here. I'll be honest, I didn't read the whole instructions. We yeah, it definitely that. doesn't need that anymore because... Oh, we gotta make that connection too. Okay, I'll do that first. Well, the license plate's probably not gonna work there. What? Nope. I <laughs> said the license plate's probably not gonna work there. It needs to go way up. Or way off. Yeah, it needs to go way up. Texas requires license plate in the front, but... A lot of times yeah, they'll just yeah, let you yeah. go. How are you guys doing? Just hanging around? Anything cool going on? Oh, that's why. It's a broken one. Yeah, we gotta hit that one first, probably. It was mostly Trey's fault. All right, check this out. We wired it. It's on there. Hit it, Trey. Holy Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna light up the night with this. This is great. Okay, we got our 25,000 lumens blasting out the front. Winch is on. It's way too big. I just. This, all these wires will be tucked eventually once I get the winch I want on here. But uh, it's freaking done. Looks Thanks. Good, no problem. That was fun. It does look really good. Yeah. So we'll get some D-rings hanging from here. Um, we're going to get some ambers here. I think I might put some little lights in here too. Some like fog lights that are low. What do you think? It helps. Yeah. Yeah. Some small ones, some yellow ones that sort of point out and light up the ditches. They call them ditch lights. So. Yeah. Well, looks good. Yeah. Dude, it looks really good. Sweet! We get to do Raptor stuff again! I still need to wire up the backlights, but otherwise, uh, we're done for the day, which is good. before we head to Indy. This thing is done for now. So we got skid plate up here, which I like the way all this looks because it doesn't have the silver on the front anymore. It's all blacked out. So before the skid plate was silver, that big cover on the front of the bumper was silver. This one's just all blacked out and looks so good. For today, we're done. Need to tidy up some stuff. I want to put some more lights here, which there are. I found a bunch of extra brackets in that box. So I think I'll be able to mount some lights in here for my low corner fog lights up there and then we'll put big ambers right there and this thing should be super bright these broncos also are made to have a roof rack easily put on these little things right here come off and you can hook a roof rack up there so we'll see once we get all the lights in what these look like at night and see if i want any more lights i don't know that you need them but it would look pretty cool to have lights up there. But Addictive Desert Designs bumper up front and in the back. That is the ADD Rock Fighter with winch front bumper. And the back is called the Bomber bumper. And of course, huge shout out to our buddies at Baja Designs for the lights, for hooking that up and really appreciate them as well. We even got them up here on the wall. Check out all that goodness. We got Baja Designs there too, as well as S-Pod, which they sent this. This is S-Pod. So you can have switches that have more amperage. So if you want to run bigger lights, that kind of thing, use S-Pod. So all the stuff we have will work without it right now. But if we do light bar across the top, we're going to need it. So they sent that as well. But man, looking freaking sick. We are done with Bronco today. Now we actually need to go take Ranch Tang and see what Holden Bros have done with our bus. Because I dropped it off there so they could lop the back off. So we're gonna get an update on that as well. I just pulled it out so I get a better side view. Looks freaking good. It does not stick out much. That's a lot of winch. It's too much winch for this thing. But man, it doesn't stick out too much. I like that little bar in front. It's got the little area up front where the cable can come through. It looks good. I need a 
the frame's all dirty in there where it was covered before and now it's open. So once I get gets clean, it'll disappear a little better, but freaking love it. Love it. And this one's good too. Yeah, buddy. We just pulled up. He already fixed one of the problems just by looking at it. We, we were smoking out here and I thought we had a cracked pipe. It was just the... Yeah, so the where the up pipe bolts down to the manifold down here, it's got okay two bolts with, with nuts. And in this case... We only had one nut. Yeah, we lost the we nut. We need two nuts. Exactly. We don't need two nuts, but usually two is better. Yes. So that's one problem, hopefully. Uh, I got a few others, but I think they're all pretty easy. We need to roll out to uh, Indy pretty quick, so... I, but I don't think we have anything that big, so... We're just getting like a little freshen up, dropping yeah. off of them. How's my bus doing? The bus is great. Have you guys been doing bus stuff? Yeah, we've been... <laughs> oh, I forgot I was going to bring you... I had bus stuff t-shirts I was going to bring for you, and I forgot <laughs> and left them. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, we got the uh, hitch on the back and the generator on the roof. Uh -huh. So we still got some wiring and stuff. Yeah, the, it's not even loud in the cab. Awesome. Like I fired it up and like loaded it up and Willie went in there and was like, dude. Because we were all like, man, it's kind of freaking. Yeah. And he's that like, That generator's yeah. pretty solid. It's Yeah, it's, it's super nice quiet. One. All right, we're going we're gonna to go check it out. We are at the bus. Willie, what have you done? It actually looks great. Ah! Dude, so I haven't done much of anything. Logan has done a bunch of work. Job, Logan. Logan kicks ass. He, uh, I don't know anybody who works harder or faster than that guy. So we started off by cutting the big nasty deck rack off, which I don't even know where it is anymore. It's, it's sitting out there. back. There it is. It was, uh, if you don't remember, came out to here and was like six feet of weird leverage and bouncy and now we have a hitch there. Yeah. Good job. It was, it was welded to the bumper. Right, and so it was like it's more tacked, of a trampoline. To the yeah, tack to the bumper, welded on the surface of the bumper. Logan cut all that stuff off. These are actually welded pretty decently. He ground all that stuff down, and um, we're gonna back tape it and shoot all black. We got a, a, a universal hitch from Kurt, so it was run wild on either side. We just measured, cut it. It's welded straight into the frame. It's welded straight which into is the frame. Which the way to do it. They sent it with like two half inch bolts on either side, which is theoretically it's enough to hold it, but Logan's like, bro, let me just weld that thing. So it's got like, two foot of weld on either side. It's not going anywhere. And uh, so he knocked that out and then jumped on the rack, which is done up top yeah. to hold the generator. Back rack was for the generator. We put it on the roof. There's two rails, which is going to be great. Now it's out of the way. Yeah. Climb up there. Go, go see. <laughs> wow. So, that's so cool. There's uh, <laughs> there's two <laughs> camera guy. Look, it's so cool. It's just crazy. <laughs> But there's two aluminum rails that run down the top side, and I think it's to keep the crown of the roof from caving in. But so we put 400 pounds. Yeah. On it. <laughs> so Matt had a good idea. Let's put a thousand pounds of the stuff up there. Like, what's the worst could happen? But it actually worked out pretty good. We put a, a rivet nuts in either side of it. It's got way more fasteners than it needs. It shouldn't. It shouldn't fall off. We were actually joking that if you hit a bridge, it's going to actually do a backflip because it's bolted so well. Content, bro. Yeah, no, that would be sick. And they ran it and said it doesn't vibrate, doesn't make any loud noise or anything like that. No, it's actually ridiculously quiet on the inside. One, because it's a really nice Honda generator, but two, because our install is so legit. Like, what's up? What's up? Nothing. <laughs> it's mainly the install. <laughs> we didn't check I the cable link, but it. like... It'll we, read. Yeah, I mean... Let's it find oughta. out. Let's find out. It oughter. We talked about it earlier and we didn't do it. If it doesn't reach, it's your fault, Matt. They're also going to build a, uh, a ladder up the side of the bus, so oh, yeah. you have to turn the generator on up here. Oh yeah, this will reach for sure. Dude, we could put a generator in the front of the bus, too. Yeah. Bingo! It'll reach. Um, they're actually going to keep it for a couple more days. We leave next week to go to Indianapolis. We're going to take this thing and it's going to make it. I got a good feeling about it. They got to yeah. put a brake controller on it still for the trailer and that should be it. So don't forget, you can win the demo limo. We are going to drive it all the way to Indianapolis. I'm 99% sure it will make it. Stop pulling saying trailer. that. I'm not 100%, <laughs> but I'm mostly there. 99.4% that it's gonna make it. And then uh, we're gonna let you guys, we're gonna let somebody drive it home. We're gonna force you to drive it home. <laughs> this is a good bus. If you're not pulling a trailer, I don't know if it's great pulling a trailer or, or pulling our 20 foot heavy trailer. Yeah. We'll see. It ought to do okay. So I think it's going to be good. The giveaway ends on Friday. So if this video goes out Thursday, it's tomorrow. But if it goes out on Friday, it's today. And we're going to end it and pick a winner. And we will contact you. So every shirt, hoodie, or hat gets you a chance that you buy. Link description. Gets you a chance to win this bus and a trip to Indy with us to watch me burn out in the ranch tank. Giddy up, partners. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, sounds good. Later. Some people are like, what if we don't want to win a bus? Well, guess what? 
will still fly out to Indy and you can sell it in the parking lot and just pocket the cash. It's the greatest idea ever. Buy a shirt, thanks. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.